Hey guys, this is Impala LFX 13. Uh, it's been a while, I know, and uh, I'm gonna start a new series called uh, Real World uh, MPG Tests. Uh, basically, we could call it a Real World Winter MPG Test because uh, we're we're right dead smack in the winter right now. And uh, but I'm gonna do this with older cars. Uh, I'm a big fan of uh, TFL, uh, the fast lane truck and fast lane cars, and they do that. Uh, miles per gallon loop so I'm basically doing the same thing but with older vehicles vehicles so uh, today I uh, I'm doing it with my personal car and uh, it's gonna be in two parts first part it's gonna be like uh, with all the mods I have basically what you see right now that's what makes me run mid 13 so even 13.4 second a quarter mile uh, and the oil right now I have it's 5W20 from uh, Pennzoil Ultra Platinum. The last oil change that's what I've been using. But in the summer for racing season, I use the uh, Amsoil uh, Signature Series. Now I said the f uh, first part because the second part I'm gonna redo the same test under the same conditions, but I'm gonna be adding the Turbo Max oil additive. Uh, I want to do that test with a lot of vehicles, see if it's just hype, snake oil, or it's the real deal. Um, but just for full disclosure, I, I have no sponsors. Uh, this is all stuff that I purchased myself uh, with my own money, and it's for my own curiosity. If I can find a product that will make my car go faster, I'm for it. So, uh, whatever, um, I know I've seen so many. Uh, videos of that dude with the Turbo Max uh, stuff so I'm, I'm gonna try to give it a chance and uh, see if it's it really works so the te test will be done on the Autoroute saint Count. so basically Highway 50 we're starting in the west side of Gatineau Quebec towards uh, Montreal uh, I'm not gonna go to, Mon uh, to Montreal but probably stop at Montebello and come back so that should roughly be a hundred kilometer uh, on the highway uh, I will follow the speed limit, which is uh, 100 kilometers an hour or 62.5 miles per hour. Uh, the road course is mostly flat, but they will have five medium hills up and down both ways. Um, and there will also be a stretch, about a six mile stretch, uh, that's 80 kilometers an hour, so 50 miles a gallon. Again, this is real world. All tests, all cars will be subject at the same test. Um, this car factory is uh, about uh, less than 3,600 pounds, but I have the steel rims on uh, with the uh, studded winter tires. So for sure, I, I would say they're at least 15, 20 pounds heavier than the factory uh, aluminum wheels. Uh, they're the same size, same factory size. And uh, what else? Full interior with the passenger and all that. So today the test, I think we're gonna be about 4,200 pounds. So I'm gonna shut my mouth, go fill it up uh, with 91 on this one, and uh, wait 30 seconds, one more squeeze, and that's it. And, uh, and you know, I'll go in the highway and see what it is to give you the results. All the technical data will be in the description. Alright guys, I am uh, almost have uh, at the half point, uh, it's been pretty stable so far, I'm averaging uh, 98.3 kilometers an hour, uh, I'm using the uh, cars on board information and I'm using also a GPS just to confirm everything's, everything's good, uh, I reset everything, so far I'm doing 6.1 uh, liters per 100k, uh, average speed C97.1 here, uh, 42.5. Uh, let me put him in metric just for fun. Here we go. Uh, so average 38 miles a gallon. And average speed 60.3. So um, it's doing very good for uh, about 4,200 pound car. And um, in about five minutes, I'll turn around and. Uh, stop at that fuel pump and see what it does and then I'll uh, add the uh, Turbo Max which is currently sitting on the uh, heater vent uh, 
because right now we're currently at minus 8 degrees Celsius. Uh, let me see why it's in Fahrenheit, it's 18 degrees. And uh, right now I do have a fa favorable wind. Uh, the wind is blowing from, from the west, so I'm heading east. So when I come back, I'll, I'll probably have a... Um, it, may, it may affect a bit, but again, it's real world tests and uh, you know, it will balance things out. So that's it for now and uh, I'll talk after uh, I fuel, uh, I'll fuel it and see what it does. And in part two, I'll add that Turbo Max. Thank you. All right, looks funny. Well, you get the point, so I'm going to stop the video now. Alright, so I've been crunching some numbers and uh, overall I'm happy with the product. Um, I try to keep all uh, tests at the same level. I mean, my average speed uh, without the um, Turbo Max additive was uh, 95.2 km an hour. Uh, which is 56.32 miles an hour um, and with with the turbo max was 94.8 so it's even the idle stop time they're about the same 3 minute 15 3 minute 18 idle stop I use all the same fuel uh, for about the same distance um, Without it, uh, 119.4 kilometers, or is 74.19 miles. And uh, on the video, I I, uh, I made a mistake. I said 5W20 Ultra Platinum. It's actually 5W30 uh, Ultra Platinum uh, oil. Uh, but I managed to do in U.S. miles per gallon 30.526. Uh, which is uh, an Imperial MPG, it's 36.66, or in liters per 100k, it's 7.705. Uh, total fuel, I use 9.2 liters. Uh, with the Turbo Max, um, again, the total distance was actually 0.1 kilometer longer, which is 74.25 miles. Um, I got in return a 32.309, so you're looking at a 1. Point, uh, like, said, uh, like a 1. Point, uh, correction, yeah, 1. 1.8 uh, miles uh, per gallon gain um, in the Imperial uh, 38.8 versus 36.6, so that's like a plus uh, 2.2. MPG Imperial um, or half a liter uh, per 100k so which is good because uh, the loop was um, you know about 74 miles um, there's a few pro and cons with this um, it's not cheap it's uh, 55 bucks per 8 ounce and that's US ladies and gentlemen and uh, it does stink and it's a very uh, uh, slimy, slinky. So wear gloves if you're gonna do it. I I wiped earlier on the car, and I still have my my finger oily about with it. Uh, if you order it online, I I find out there's actually a a discount code in one word, Power Stroke, in capitals, that took eleven dollars out. Uh, but if you're Canadian, you're gonna get uh, the shaft uh, because uh, they ship this company ship via UPS and UPS are known to uh, just uh, ripped customers with custom fees so I had to pay 30 I think it was right 32 dollars of custom fees Canadian but still 32 dollars on top of the a hundred some bucks I paid for that so overall I'm happy so far and I'm going to be doing other tests. I'm going to do it with my personal truck. Uh, I'm going to do it with my uh, family and friend cars and vans and so on. So I, I just 
again, it's for a more personal information I'm doing this, but if it helps save fuel and if it helps uh, with the bearings and camshafts and all that, I'm for that. So, so far, I gave it a, a thumbs up for uh, Turbo Max. So, that's it, that's all, and stay tuned for more. Thank you.